Right, I'm at a church, Kilf, down a country lane called Sea Lane. I've parked Alberta right there. I'm just doing a small video a small video of the church called oh yeah it is St Mary the Virgin, Virgin yeah and my camera is playing up again it's doing that dark thing again I don't know why it does it hi hold on I have fun, it's got to be done. And you, and you. Alright, so I've got this peaceful little churchyard. Part of my Somerset Churches project, of course, and I hadn't got round to doing this even on a cycle. I hadn't got round to doing it, and it's beautiful, isn't it? I bet anything, my sister Jude's been here. I'm sort of trying to see some of the places she would have gone. Well, how beautiful this is, isn't it? Look at that view between from these churches, from these graves here. Look at that. There's a walk, you see, not far away. There's the Quantock Hills right up there on the top of the hill. I'll just zoom in. Right up there we got the Quantock Hills. I was over this way a week ago. Um, I went to um, East Quantock's Head and saw the church there. But it was raining that day so I couldn't complete the walk, a walk of any sort. Today I've risked coming down these narrow lanes. It's called Sea Lane and I've risked coming down it. I've risked coming down it, but there are lots of cutouts where you can pull in and I've managed to park right behind somebody and room for others to pass by the church. Um, I thought I just want to stop and do the church. There was somewhere to park. Take the opportunity, Sheila. Just met a lady who's just done quite a big walk and she's look, she didn't look like she had any water or anything. Amazing how people go out from Donington, wherever that is, and she didn't have anything. She couldn't wait to get to the pub to have a drink. <laughs> Bless her. It's only a mile up there. It's down a country lane, so... <sighs> it's weird having a bit of a wall here, isn't it? Hopefully the church is open. And this can be explained. It could be a monument to somebody. Yes, there probably were graves. That's a big tomb, I should think. Um, I can't quite read any inscriptions on there. These table ones, look, they're big, big tablets, big tombs. Um, I'm just having a look at any names because you never know who might turn up. But this isn't lovely. I can just imagine Jude and Stuart sat over here on the bench having a little picnic. I really can imagine that. And she's saying to me, come on, Sheila, go out and explore the coastal bits that you haven't done. I would love to have walked here with her in life. So not to mind, not to worry. We'll, we'll be doing it again when I leave the world. We'll be out together then, for sure. I hope that would be nice. A little stained glass window there. I would have thought it would be open, to be quite honest. I would have thought this would be open. Um, but you can never tell. I'm not even going to try it until I've walked round. Oh, here's somewhere I can fill my bottle up in a minute. Look, a tap. Don't forget that, Sheila. Come back in a minute. And look, there's a walk. There's a walk here. I can see it going up that way. This that, this walk here is probably the one that takes you to East Quantock's Head. Through here, look. I bet you anything this is the walk. I might even end up coming back through here later. Because um, I'm going down to the beach first. 
Then I'm going to walk around. So I, it's very likely that I could come back here. And over there, there was something called the Old Chantry, which is a ruin. And if I zoom in there, look, I can see it already. See? I'll be walking past that or driving by. I might walk, I'll go and walk down there in a minute before I take off in the van. So we're just having a little look round. Hurleys, there's lots of Hurleys in this part of Somerset. Um, somebody's garden, an old farmhouse there, look, with a dovecot. There's the other, other side of the church, or old tower, old Saxon looking tower that is, isn't it? Been rendered, of course. So I did turn the video back on. I turned it off when that girl went by because she asked me if it was far to the shop. <laughs> Bless her. You should never go out walking without, um, first of all, making sure you've got water at least. It amazes me how people go out unprepared, but sometimes you do it without realising that. Oh, parrots. I knew some parrots from Bridgewater. But that was, you know, it's another Somerset name, isn't it? Parrot. I'm just doing the outside video. I'm going to go around again and take photos, just like I normally do. You never know, I might see some school friends from here, you know, that might have gone to school with me. Because the bus used to go around collecting all the people that lived in the villages. Locke family. It's always worth checking out the... Oh look, you can get this where you get the pay and display there as well. I'll do that in a minute. Um, oh yeah. I might even leave my car here and walk down. I'll have a look in a minute. So I'm having a good look round. Back of the church. Some big tombs there. Somebody might be stopping to come in. Right, I think I've been right round now. But it looks like there's somebody coming. I might not be able to video inside. It's always a good idea, you know, to do the videos first. You know? Otherwise somebody comes and then you can't do any. There's somebody coming in here now, look. Coming in, but there's somebody coming. So I'll do a quick video where they come in. Sweeting, Henry Sweeting. What I'll do if they come in, I'll come back in again. I'll go and do the photos. 
around the churchyard and then come in again. That's good, isn't it? Little holders for flowers, look. It's a nice old font, isn't it? I don't know how dark this will come out because the um, the memory of Daniel Baddock of Kilcourt, born 28th of April 1840, died March 1915. Also, Mary, his wife, born September 1851, died January 1932, age 80. Another people. People that probably lived in the manor house. I'll come back and have a look if there's um, a leaflet in a minute. I'll come back and have a look. In memory of two Scylla daughters of Lawrence and Dorothy Candit, gent of this parish. What year was that? 1723? 1739, that's an old memorial plaque up there. Like I say, I've got no idea if how this is going to come out. There's a nice um, stained glass window there, look. It's very nice, isn't it? The Roll of Honour is up there. Can see any names? Cridland, Aralicia, Woodhouse, Somerset Light Infantry, most of them, Dorset Regiment, Devon Regiment. That was from the First World War. Someone might have just come to visit a grave and they might come in here in a minute. Trevor Stephen Evans, in loving memory of Trevor Stephen Evans. Maybe that was the farm he had. They obviously don't want you to go in there, so I'm just going to zoom in. There's a nice banner there, look. That says Quantock's Head. Of course, this is Kill for St. Mary the Virgin. Some nice kneelers, as you call them, kneelers. There's one of the Krang. Um, could have been a Jubilee celebration or coronation, more like it. Another picture of a farmhouse there. Of course, sometimes if you go beyond these ropes, it sets an alarm off, you know. You can't blame people, they get stuff nicked. Another nice stained glass window there. Somebody's done a nice display of um, flowers as well. And a, another kneeler of the church itself with the, with the, um, the George flag on the top, the English flag. Then we've got several. Sweet Escort. Hugh Bevel Sweet Escort. Nora Muriel Sweet Escort. Lieutenant Leslie Winfield Sweet Escort. I'll look those up later. That's a lovely big arch. When you see a big arch like that, you sometimes wonder if this was much bigger, this church, you know? When you see a big, um, big arch. Another big plaque to the Cundit family, John Cundit, senior gent who departed this life in the 12th of December in 1690, age 29. Also of Joanne, wife of John, gent who died October 1716, age 28. And we've got the pulpit, of course. This is all part of my visit, mine, doing all this. And if we look up on the ceiling, I'm not going to go back too far because I might crick my neck. But um, we've got some nicely decorated 
rosettes or whatever you call them. There's a few. They're all up. They're all over the place. Yeah, hand painted. <laughs> it looks like it, doesn't it? Some gold. Some gold. They're all round the, the beams. Yeah, it's not high. It's not over decorated. Um, it's a basic little country church, but I just have a feeling it was bigger because of that huge arch. It just makes you wonder, doesn't it? And who've we got in here? In memory of Thomas Towell, senior late of Wilton in the parish of St. Dickerman's gent who departed his life August 1767, age 71, and also Elizabeth, wife of the said Thomas Towell, Jen, and daughter of the above Lawrence and Dorothy Cundit, who departed this life 6th of April 1739, age 41. And then you've got in memory of Lawrence Cundit himself, Gent, who departed this life the 3rd day of January 1717, age 53, and his wife Dorothy. She died 1758, age 90. So that's a great big plaque, isn't it? There's a Henry Sweeting. The Sweeting family seem to be of significance, or were of significance. Yeah, so anyway. This is St Mary the Virgin then. I'm going to go around taking some photos now. Let's zoom into that little font again, which is very sweet, isn't it? Over and out. And maybe I'll just open the door. Wait a minute. I often like to open the door. To get, just temporarily, to get some light. And we've got the mesh up. So sometimes you get a different feeling for the church if you can then walk through like this, look. If you can walk through the arch into the church with a very big solid door. <laughs> 